Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today we're doing a bit of a picking and packing video. I normally do this Sunday afternoons, but it's Sunday morning because I've had quite a lot of sales since Friday, so I need to get cracked on with them. Um, and if anyone else orders anything a bit later on, I'll try and get it done. I've got a friendly helper with me, just firing up the laptop, got a coffee made. I've got a pile of stuff here. This is all getting collected by a guy that does car boots. So I'll get all that gone, which is great. I've been sorting out all my racking. All that stuff was like stored here so I can access all this now. And I've got a bit of space, which is good. Got all this new stock to photograph. I've got that tub and that tub and that tub and the stuff on there all to skew away in them boxes. And I need to go through here and pull out any slow moving stock and things like that. But that is a job for another day. For now, I've got enough space to move about and pick out and pack everything that's sold this weekend. There we go. That is all 15 orders sold this weekend pulled out. Some nice bits. Some items that I've had a while that I sort of took lower offers on to get them shifted. And some items that are literally just listed the same day and sold. So we'll start over here. We've got a brand new Sky Plus HD remote. Not sure what year it's from, um, but they're quite old now. So I thought it was a bit unusual to see one brand new in its packet. That was £2 in the charity shop. Listed it for 15 Someone came in an offer of 12 on the same day, so decided to accept it. Uh, we have one of these Funko enamel pins. This is a special edition one. This is like a glow-in-the-dark variant. Um, I've got a stack of them over there on my storage. I'm just thinking what video this would be in. This features in the weekly vlog, I believe. I'll put it up here. Um, yeah, weekly vlog bit video. I picked up a load of these. And yeah, I paid £1.99. This one sold for £20. Um... This is kind of like the higher value. The others tend to go for between sort of eight and ten pound. So that was good. We have this big trouser press kind of thing. Um, this was found dumpster diving. I've had it like six months now or so. It's big and it's bulky. I took an offer of ten pound uh, plus the shipping, obviously five six pound or so, just to get it shifted. So that's good. We have a set of four Teletubbies. They all talk. Set of four, got them free on Facebook Marketplace and they have sold for $14.99. So very happy with that. We have got a Ray-Ban sunglasses box. Didn't cost me anything again from Dumpster Diving. There was a load of glasses cases and I was just looking out for any names that I knew. That sold for $8.99. Uh, we have a set of placemats in a nice old box. Nice designs, um, I think they owe me about a pound or so from a charity shop, again probably about a year ago, so I ended up taking an offer of eight or nine pound on them, happy to move them along. Uh, we have these Nike trainers which I think I got off Vinted for about a fiver, Nike MD Runner 2, no laces, so my plan was to get some laces and sort them out, in good condition. Um, but yeah, I never got the laces and I was in the process of listing a load of stuff. So I thought I'd just put them on without. I think I listed them for twelve ninety nine and they sold. So happy at that just to move them on. This is quite an interesting sale. So I've got a bundle of three items all relating to the SS Great Britain. We've got an envelope there. Let me see if it'll focus a bit better. An addressed envelope airmail and we have got this sort of copper etching on a plate which they'd probably use um, they'd like roll link over it and then press it and make uh, postcards or prints or whatever so that's really interesting and then the third item in the the bundle is this kind of similar kind of printing block kind of thing for doing like letterheads on on paper 
so that's a nice item I listed it all for £75 some people had uh, these envelopes but I couldn't find anything similar to this someone came in for with an offer of 60 literally the same day so I thought yeah I'll just take it so more than happy with that we've got a body shop bag 4 99 I had about 20 of these so they just go out now and again we have a BT mini hub this was from Vinted uh, again this will be in a Vinted video if you want to go and watch that um, you'll see there what it cost me off the top of my head it's probably like seven or eight pound and it sold for about 17 18 happy with that Tony and Guy shampoo and conditioner sold for 11.99 owes me about one pound 20 a bottle or something like that again features in another video uh, this was from Boots. This features in my retail arbitrage video, so go check that one out as well. You've got a bit of a playlist if you're new to my channel. You've got loads of catching up to do. Um, these two pans. Uh, this one, I got them both in a charity shop at the same time. This one was £2. Now keep an eye out for this brand, Prestige. I'll turn it over. Prestige Lifetime Stainless Steel England. These hold some good value. This one was £2. It's 16 centimetres in diameter and it's sold for 15 Sometimes you can get a whole set of about four of them. This is very nice. I like picking up Le Creuset when I see it at car boots and that. You don't often see it in charity shops, but when I saw this one was listed for £4. I was picking it up all day long. Nice volcanic orange colour. Very good condition with the spout. No chips to the enamel. Size 22. And uh, yeah, they hold some good value. I listed that for 34 99 and it's sold the same day. Moving on, we have this Action Man sort of snow plough explorer kind of vehicle. Uh, I did some research and it's actually incomplete. It's meant to have a bit of a canopy here. So it is missing a few bits. Listed it for £15, had an offer of 10 and decided to accept it. Considering it didn't cost me anything and I saved it from going from, uh, from the charity shop bin to landfill. So happy with that. And last of all, move my coffee out of the way. We have this Sankyo Sound 702 projector. This features in my auction video. Go check it out. Um, yeah, this is probably the best sale. It sales like this, which is why you probably think, oh, you're only making five pound, you're only making two, three pound profit per item. But it's all them little sales help draw in the customers and help keep the algorithm happy for the big sales. So I went to a local auction and I bid on a job lot of electrical items it was like cameras and things like that you'll see it in the auction video and the lot that this was in cost me three pounds and i've actually got the rest of it down here so i got that plus all this um i think it was split into two lots i think they were like three pound each i think this one came with another kind of eddington projector thing which is for sale for 25 pounds so but yeah, it costs me, it owes me, if you break it down, probably about £2, £2.50, something like that. Listed it for £150, £160, because I saw similar ones go for that. And I woke up this morning, or one morning last week, I think it was Friday, um, and I had an offer to send out and it's for this, and I thought I'm just going to send them 120 you know, kick off the weekend with some good sales. And they accepted, so... You know, after fees over a hundred pound profit, I'm very happy with that. I'll definitely be going back to that auction house and bidding on a few more items. So there we go, fifteen orders to pack. I'll set you up on a bit of a time lapse, see what I can get done. Uh, I can hear it's raining. I picked up this chest of drawers for free, so I need to figure out what I want to do with that. I've got loads of stock to skew away, like I said. And I'm hoping the guy turns up and takes this job lot away. But like I said, I can hear it's raining, so 
that might be interesting. So yeah, I'll set you up on time lapse and I'll get cracked on. So it's just started absolutely chucking it down, just thought I'd stop that there. So I've got a bit of a pile there of all the little easy bits that I've done. Yeah, it's raining very hard. Just thought I'd show you some top tips for posting certain things. The crew say cast iron or porcelain items. A lot of their pots and pans are cast iron. They do like casserole dishes and that that are porcelain, uh, ceramic even. So yeah, just some top tips about what I do. I always find a strong box. So this is a double wall box. Um, wrap the item separate from the lid so nothing's bashing against each other. Uh, the item's sat nicely there in the box and then just I use wallpaper or any kind of void fill, newspaper, stuff like that. Got some corrugated cardboard underneath just to stop it just some protection when it's moving about obviously you've got the spout there so you don't want that to get get knocked so just cram in loads of paper around it uh, put some paper down put the lid on top and then more paper on top of that and then it is all secure in a nice double wall strong box there we go that's all 15 orders packed up nice and easy nothing too complicated took me about an hour or so so um, yeah had to get a bit of a move on there the guy's come in to collect all this stuff, so I just need to get that ready. Um, and then I'll do all the labels, get it loaded up in my car, and then if anything else sells a bit later, I can come out and do it. Um, if not, this will be heading to the parcel shop later today. So I've just done all the postage labels, mixture of every and a couple of Royal Mail, uh, just because of the, the size and weight. All the, the car boot stock there I've put in my car, ready to offload, the guy's on his way. So that's a good chunk of stuff gone and uh, a bit of money in and also the chest of drawers that I got for free yesterday. Someone's picking this up later on for £20 so yeah, bargain, um, good pick up uh, and yeah, it makes a bit more space. And while I was doing my labels I did have another little sale which are these vintage Thomas Tank engine books. Uh, there's nine in total and they've gone for £10 so I'll get them wrapped up and they can go out today as well so guys just wanted to say big thank you for watching my videos i've smashed through 1800 subscribers which is fantastic i really enjoy making content for you guys and i really love seeing your nice comments as well so keep it up really appreciate it and uh, i'll keep the content coming so just a quick one this week uh, this is sunday and i will probably put this out on a wednesday evening um one week so yeah hope you've enjoyed it if you are new check out all them other videos i told you about earlier they're all on my channel they're all worth a watch and uh, yeah if you haven't subscribed already please do hit the bell and you'll be notified every time i upload it's normally sunday mornings and if i have a bit more content it'll be wednesday evenings also just to note check every description of the videos there's tons of referral links in there some ways to make a bit of free cash all sorts some ways to save some money on your energy bills and things like that so please check them out thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next video take care everyone